The Carroll County Sheriff's Office and the ATF have arrested three people for possession of machine gun parts that they were selling illegally. Fox 5's Doug Evans has more on the investigation from Carroll County. The Carroll County Sheriff's Office and the ATF arrested the three suspects and confiscated what they say was a machine gun and parts to make fully automatic weapons, as well as drugs and cash. Dash cam video from the sheriff's office shows a deputy attempting to pull over a car that was part of the investigation, they say. The sheriff's office says instead of pulling over, that car continued driving through a neighborhood, traveled all the way to a home where the people were living. Then watch what happens in the driveway. They say the passenger jumps out and has his hands at his waistband of his pants, a very dangerous situation, they say, because it made them think he was armed. Has his hands either in his pocket or the front of his pants, very dangerous for him to do that uh, and in a police encounter um, takes off running kind of behind the house there's another occupant inside the vehicle the potential threat was so big that they brought out the big guns as you can see in the video eventually the people gave up here's what deputies say caused the investigation to start with the suspects had what are called switches these are apparently illegal devices that change a semi-automatic handgun into a fully automatic one uh, we're very pro second amendment but we're not going to have people selling stuff off the black market here in Carroll County and, and our kids and people in our neighborhoods getting a hold of it and it causing a tragic situation. Deputies say they also seized a fully automatic machine gun, 151 oxycodone pills, scales and $17,000 in cash. Under arrest, Tiana Dobbs, Taikas Caldwell and Jaden Gaddy. All three are charged with possession of a machine gun and drug charges. The two men are also charged with theft by receiving stolen property. The sheriff's office says the three were allegedly selling the switches and they have a warning to anyone who purchased one or has one from somewhere else. My advice would be anytime you purchase a firearm or any component, make sure it's from a reputable actual dealer that has a federal firearms license, a, a firearms dealer's license. In Carroll County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.